I'm going to show you how you can learn web development at Harvard University for free. This is easy. Head over to Google and type in Harvard University coding course. You'll have a few options and you'll want to select that one that says CS50. This introduction to computer science is a coding course that teaches you the fundamentals of things like Git, HTML, Flask, SQL. You can sign in with anything such as with Facebook or Twitter or even Google. And that's all you need to do and you're immediately in the course, able to have a look at the curriculum and get started. Now, I hope you guys stay to the end of this video because I have a huge announcement, which is a course giveaway from all your favorite creators. People like Brad Traversy teaching you how to do HTML and CSS or Dennis Ivey teaching you to do Django or even how to use VS Code with CodeStacker and much, much more. I'm sure you won't be surprised to hear that I get asked how to start programming from lots of people on all over the place, from Twitter to YouTube comments. And for me, trying to respond to everyone is nearly impossible. That's why I thought I'd do this video for a good place to start. Normally, I recommend a place called Free Code Camp, but in today's video, I wanted to share with you guys a two-step process to learn coding at Harvard University, which is one of the most prestigious and oldest universities in the US. It's, I think, almost 400 years old, and it is among one of the best, which is why I was so excited when I saw this Twitter post that said that you could start learning at Harvard for free. So I'm doing this video today to explain a little bit more about that and what's involved in the course and what you'll learn. All right, so this two-step process is simple. The first is obviously to hit that like and subscribe button. And the second is head over to the link in the description below, which takes you to the Harvard University website. On that website, you get that CS50 degree where you can apply immediately. This degree doesn't need anything else. It doesn't need you to have a credit card or to pay anything. You just need an email address and you're immediately signed up with 300,000 people and they're doing the course all over the world remotely. You don't have to go there. You can just jump on a laptop or a computer or even a phone and you get lots of great resources, things like PDFs and videos and doco that covers everything that you need to know to get started on computer science and coding. Let's take a closer look at what's involved in the CS50 course here. Currently on the Harvard website, it says it is a web programming course focused on Python and JavaScript. We can have a look down here and see that there are a few things you'll get to learn. These include learning how to use Git, which is important whenever you're using any project for revision control. You get to learn some SQL for databases, as well as the fundamentals of HTML and CSS. You also learn some JavaScript and APIs, as well as flasks. But this also might not be the most up to date information, because if you select the take course option over here, you get taken to this page where the course is run on EDX. And this course is slightly different. If we have a look at what's involved here for the CS50, it's actually programming with Python, but it actually is Python, JavaScript, SQL, Django, React, and Bootstrap. So this is actually a lot more than what's even on the course page, which is really cool. Let's see what else here is involved. So we can see that oh, 700,000 people are enrolled in this course. And I believe that it is starting um, pretty much on a schedule. So the next start date here says it's on the 28th of December. But I'm sure that if you miss this deadline, there will be another one that you can access. The next thing we can have a look at here is the course content itself. So if we have a look here, the course runs over a period of six to nine weeks, and it is in fact free. But if you do want to get a certificate at the end of it, if you want to have something to show that you did this course, besides the fact that you actually did learn a lot, you can apply to get a certificate. Personally, I wouldn't recommend doing that. If you've got the skills, that's mostly what people care about. The subject matter here is computer science. It's similar to what I did when I was doing uni, except when I was doing it a lot was a lot of theory, whereas this is more practical when I had a look at it. And if we take a look at the content down here, we can see that you start off learning your basic fundamentals, which is your HTML, your CSS, and your hopefully JavaScript, which is a little bit further down. Then you'll also learn how to do Git and version control, which is important because these days, most projects and courses are hosted on Git. You get to jump in onto Python, which is a great programming language, as well as Django. And after you learn some fundamentals for those, you get to learn a bit of databases with SQL, things like models and migrations. Finally, you move over to JS and you 
finish up with doing some user interfaces, testing and scalability and security. So these are all really good things to be able to learn if you're trying to learn web development. And it's mostly what you'll be starting on anyway. To give you an idea of what this course actually looks like if you take it, let's take a look at the very first unit, which is the HTML and CSS section. This section here starts off with a number of things you can do. You can read the notes or you can do the video. Personally, I like the video idea and I had a look at it and it's a really good video that starts off with the fundamentals and goes through everything. It's two hours long. And then if that is enough, you can jump in and you can have a look at all the notes in terms of that video, as well as all the PowerPoint slides that come along with it. And finally, when you're done, you have a project section as well, where you can learn by doing and applying the skills that you've learned. Okay, so at the start of this video, I mentioned a course giveaway from your favorite creators. To apply for this, it's really simple. Head over to my Twitter and send me a direct message saying what it is that you want to learn in terms of programming and why you want to learn it. From this, I'm going to randomly select a number of people and do a small video call with them and give away the courses. And hopefully lots of people will get a great result for this. I'd love to do a follow up maybe three months later to see what people learned as well. And maybe give you guys some feedback of how learning programming can really help you change and make a difference in your life. Otherwise, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.